Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to start a new series of videos on deep understanding of a state machine. Many of the channel viewers requested that I should create a video series on state machine. They are facing some issues. So on request of all those channel members, I am creating this video series. In this video series, we will start from the basic and we will go at the advanced level. So once you understood the concept of a state machine, you can design any logic utilizing state machine very easily. And now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, to make this study interesting, I'm taking an example of a state machine from our day-to-day -day life. In this example, Shruti has borrowed Indian 500 rupees from Preeti in the past. And as per their commitment, Shruti is returning the borrowed 500 rupees to Preeti. And she will return 100 rupees at a time. And now let us see Preeti's mind acting as a state machine. Friends, this is secret state machine in Preeti's mind. Intentionally or intentionally, this state machine is created in Preeti's mind. So when first 100 rupees is given to Preeti, she will come to this state. Let us name it as 100. So this state 100 means Shruti already has paid 100 rupees. Now when Shruti gives another 100 rupees to Preeti, it will come to 200 state. It will not go to 100. The interesting thing is the input is same. Input is 100 rupees coin or 100 rupees note. But for the same input, it is moving to a different state. Now when another 100 rupees is given, it will move to the another state. Let us name it as 300. State 300 means that Shruti already has paid 300 rupees. Now when again 100 rupees is given, it will move to the next state which is 400. 400 reminds to Preeti that Shruti already has paid 400 rupees to her. When another 100 rupees is paid, it will come to the last state where Preeti will relax and she will say thank you to her friend Shruti. If I consider thanks as a variable, so thanks variable will become 1 in the last state. But it was 0 for all the other states. Friends, the important thing that I want to conclude from this state machine is for the same input, which is 100 rupees coin or a note, output is different. Thanks variable, which is our output, is 0 for first four states and it is only high for the last state when the input is same. Actually, when each 100 rupees coin is given to Preeti, she is making a note inside her mind that 100 rupees is paid, 200 rupees is paid, 300 rupees is paid, 400 rupees is paid, 500 rupees is paid. And these notes are nothing but the states, the states of the mind in this case. Friends, other important conclusion that I want to make here is, depending on the current state and input value, we give the output. See, when the state was 300 and input is 100, we came to the next state 400, but output variable is 0. Again, when we receive 100 rupees in this state, we come to the next state and make our output 1. In a nutshell, we can say that our output is dependent upon the current state as well as on the input value. Friends, here I have added a slight complexity. I have added this path. In case Shruti pays 200 rupees, from 100 state it will come to 300 state directly. Now the final conclusion that I want to make here is, the next state is also dependent upon the input and the current state. So this is a concept of a state machine. Friends, in this state machine, I have not drawn the other parts like from 200 to 400, 300 to 500. This was just for my illustration purpose. Friends, most often you will see this diagram in your digital electronics books. It's a representation of a state machine. It has input, output, current state, next state and some combination logic. So the theory that I demonstrated earlier can be explained with the help of this diagram also. In this block design, here we have a current state, which is going to this logic, and here we have an input. Current state and input will decide the next state. And current state and input will decide the output also. And this is just a simple combination logic. So whatever behavior we discussed in our previous example, 
the same behavior can be seen with the help of this block design and just for your information friends this current state is stored in simple flip flops we will cover each aspect of a state machine in depth in our upcoming video sessions friends i don't want to make this video very lengthy so let us end this episode here only and in the upcoming videos we will cover some more interesting examples and we will slowly move towards the digital design and i hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching